Right, James Prowry, a wee uh, answer to you. As I told you, it's was way to tell you how you asked me how I do the weave. This is the way I do the weave. I've done this weave for 30 years. I've got this same template, well, this is template two. I've kept the one, the original one for prestige. It's in my workshop, but this is it. It's basically that's 37 inches long, 7 inches in depth, right? From there to there. And that's the best way. So a lot of people would get, there are other ways to do it, and I'll show you later videos other ways to do it but this is the way I do it and it's worked for me for all these years right so what you do is you put that there and you, and you use your, your rail there like this the rail there is your line for that there and when you do featherboard I'll show you the way we do featherboard right and then you just take your pencil mark it and I've already done this the same time and you'll see there and then there now what you try and do is this you don't want the joint to be in between so what you do is You've got tolerance, you can move it along a bit, right? You move it along now. We're quite lucky with this stretch here all the way up there, right? It works out, expect that we're two inches short, so you just do a longer curve at the last one, right? But if you don't and you get a half a one, you get a bit of cardboard and template that, and make a template and put the cardboard on it, and that does. And don't bother about them not all being you half a circle because at the far end of the face you don't notice it's the same and it gives you uniformity because if you were to make a template for each individual fence it becomes very very confusing and frustrating trying to get the proportions correct now what you do is this James get the old, old jigsaw and you blade every fence that's another trick too don't try and be stingy or greedy or be a scrooge right use a new blade every every single job throw that one away or send it into the barber shop for folk cutting beard it doesn't really matter it's no good to you after you do one fence right and then what you do is this <laughs> show you right that's a square cut because it's standing there like that that tells something there you go anyway right you see how there you always get a feather because it's rough wood right what you call sawing wood yet again sandpaper this is 80 grit 60 or 80 is the best to use because it's rough wood <laughs> Sometimes if you want to be particular, get a wee bit of treatment just to put there in the joint and there. But nine times out of ten people paint their fence and they'll be doing that anyway, right? So that's that there. And if you notice here, with the kickboard at the bottom, and we've got about two inch, wait, I'll just tell you the news, because I know some of you will zoom in and spy on me and correct me and tell me at 32.2 seconds you said the wrong word then. So there we go. So there we have it. That's it, approximately two inches, right? The two inches, and then you've got your four rail, right? And your kickboard. And I'll show you in later videos too, how we get that there, and we come to the equidistant with there. As you'll see there, we're just going to board this bit here. If you look down there, 
we're just going to board that and you'll see all the rails sitting perfect as it's up there and you can see all the boards are standing like soldiers they're all standing to attention and we'll explain later on how we get that too and this is the trick they tell me i've got to knock you in to follow me and you'll learn step by step all the tricks of the trade then i'll be coming to use to do a fence for me and we've got a wee gate up there too that gates up that's one of our standard gates Stall the ring lights before anybody picks up or stall the handle to put on, obviously we have, or the people can't get in and out. These are silly things that I'll learn you. Anyway, so there you are folks, another YouTube video, we're starting to gather up, I hope you are learning off these YouTubes. And I'm standing here very confident there, and I know that you will continue to follow me, and the followers will grow and grow and grow, like a large tree. So catch you all later folks.